Hello fellow humans and welcome to playing human. It's Zombie again with another itch.io game called Unassorted VHS, which is a slightly older found footage horror puzzle game from the developer of Buckshot Roulette. You wake up hanging from a ceiling. A box of VHS tapes sits in front of you. You pick up a tape. It softly quivers in your hand, the label reminding you of a distant memory. I really don't like the sound of that. Suddenly, you hear a strange voice. Play the tapes. Find out how you got here. Everything is interlinked. Don't you remember? Eject tapes at any time with G. Alright, so now we can look around. I'm not sure if that music is just atmospheric or we're in some kind of club basement. It's not letting me move other than to look around, so I guess we're going to have to look at these tapes. Seems there are five of them. I guess it doesn't necessarily matter which order we look at them in since they're unsorted. Uh, I saw one with a red on it. Let's try that one. Oh. That's not just the, the label. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, let's try that one first. How do we do this? What in the world? I can't really make out what it says. Something about an anomaly. The cabin anomaly. Huh. Okay. Mm, let's put this back and see what the others what the others say. How do I put these down? How do I put these down? Okay. What does this say? Security room. I wonder if this is the security room. Doesn't look like much of it, but we can't really actually see what's going on in here. Huh. Okay, what, do, what else do we have? Cabin anomaly. Investor briefing. Investor? Mm, investor? Not investigator. Investor. Huh. Okay. I guess we'll see what that's about. If I can put this away. And... The looker. Mm, I don't know exactly what they mean by that, but none of it sounds good. Mountain View Primary School. Mm, I don't know. All of this seems so ominous. All right. Well, I said we should look at the one with red on it first. So I guess we'll do that. Let's try. See what happens here. Huh. So I guess what's happening is instead of actually looking at the tapes, we're inside the tapes? I guess. Yeah, we can walk around. So there's light over there. Oh no, now I lost it. I'm gonna try moving forward and see. Oh man, okay. Well, I guess now we're lost since... Oh wait, maybe this way. Yeah, okay. Oh. Was that a flash forest fire? Well, maybe that was the anomaly, but it kind of looked like a forest fire since we didn't actually get a good look at it. Okay. Well, then let's work our way backward. Where was the cabin investor one? Uh, this one says cabin anomaly investor briefing. Was there another one about the cabin? Security room. Okay, so let's look at the, the cabin one. Cabin Anomaly Investor Briefing. Scepter Foundation. The Cabin Anomaly Investor Briefing. The nature of the anomaly, teleportation, instantaneous travel between two locations without crossing the intervening space, and they're trying to sell this to someone because that's a great idea.
So it doesn't look like we can move around, we're just watching. The unmarked location, a branch of the cabin anomaly. One of the six cabins seems to be missing. It is unknown how to enter it, as none of the cabins. The symbol, a precisely traced symbol in the center of the cabins. The material is extraterrestrial. What in the world? <laughs> this concludes the investor briefing. Okay, let's eject this. Yeah, that's definitely someone, something someone should be throwing their money at. What in the world is going on? Okay, I want to see that one again. Try to make sense of what's happening here. Scepter Foundation. Teleportation. So go in that cabin, come out the other cabin. Um, there's been one report of entering the location. However, the source is not entirely trustworthy. Uh, one part of the symbol seems to be pointing toward the unmarked location. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Maybe next let's go to the security room. And I wonder if this is the, sec the security room at the cabin area? How do you put this in? Okay. And now we can look around again. This is so weird. Can't go that way. I wonder if there's a limit to how long we can stay inside of a video. Um. Yeah, so all there is is this weird random shack. Uh, a scepter foundation shack. Huh. Oh, is that a, a body? Oh, what is that? Oh yeah, it is a foot. Oh, there's lies. I don't know how long ago this happened. Insert disc. Oh no, we have a floppy disc. It's broken. Huh. Is this a photo? What in the world? I don't know what we're looking at in this photo, but let's try to see where was it. So there's a house and it looks like we're looking at the front of the house and to the right. Okay. Mm, we can't push any of the keys. Maybe we can check this person. No. I don't know what we're supposed to do here. I wonder if we could pick something up like a floppy disk in another video and bring it here. Okay, well, this is definitely an interesting game, I'll say that much. Oh, let's see what's on here. Oh man, access code to retrieve overwrite key. And we're on lockdown right now. Does this person have anything written down? Mm. Okay, let's look in some more. Well, I guess we've looked in every single one of the shell. No, there are some at the bottom. I don't know that we can crouch. Okay, I guess now we have looked in everything. Hmm. So yeah, now I'm wondering. Maybe we'll have to... Oh man, that got me good. Okay. So maybe what's going to happen is we're going to have to...
go to another video and get that code. And right now we'll get out of this video before that, whatever that was, comes back. Wow, okay. Wait a minute, is this a window? No, I'm... Oh no. Okay, yeah, I don't like this anymore. All right, I guess now... Oh, I don't like the sound of the looker. Let's look at that one last. Okay, the Mountain View Primary School. Oh, I don't like this either. Schools are scary enough in the daytime. And why is the fire alarm going off? Can't interact with anything. Hmm. I would also like to know, are we safe in these videos? Are we the people in the videos? Well, you know what? Maybe when we go inside a video, we are the people in the video. So whatever happens is not actually what we're doing, but whatever happened when it was originally recorded. Maybe. So maybe we can't actually be harmed. Hmm. I guess all that's left is to go down the hall. We're moving away from the noise. I'm not sure if we were supposed to be moving toward it. Oh, what's this? I don't like this darkness here. Okay, what does this say? Alice, do you want to play at the cabins after school again? It's so fun. I just realized that you don't poof to the cabins that are already open. This will change the game of tag forever. Oh, so maybe these kids discovered the existence of the anomaly in the first place and things didn't go well. And then this company came and wants to sell the teleportation effect even though it's clearly not a good thing okay let's move toward the alarm as far as i can tell this is as fast as we go like the noise is coming from over there i don't know okay let's try to move as far as we can down the hall i really don't like the look of this but let's try it anyway let's move backwards okay that's as far as we can go okay i mean if you if you can't see what's there then it's not scary right so just back toward it all right um I'm not sure if there's anything else for us to do here. Okay, I guess we'll get out of here. Stop listening to that noise. I think that leaves us one more video. The Looker. And here's that house. So the Looker, maybe that's person that was circled in that photo before because this is the spot that was circled oh there's a key okay so i guess we can go inside hmm i want to take a look around the perimeter first or around the building before we go inside Why is it so... Why is that on top of there? Huh. And where is this? And where is this in relation to those cabins? And could this have something to do with the... The unknown location? Maybe this is the unknown location? Is that a vehicle over there? We're going to go find out. 
It might just be one of those weird shaped, weirdly shaped rocks, but yeah, I think it's just a rock and it's not letting us move any, any further past that point. All right, so I guess we're gonna be smart and go inside that building right now. Hmm. We'll say this is very atmospheric and interesting. I haven't played a game like this before. Unfortunately, we can't go any faster than this. Hopefully nothing will jump out at us because we won't be running away from it. All right, I think we're close to the door, right? Oh, there's a cellar. Oh, oh man. Uh, I don't know what that is. Maybe we can go inside and find a light source that we can take with us before we go down there. I feel like I heard something, but it could have just been the wind. Where'd the door go? I can't see a thing over here. It looks like you can see better on the recording. All right, um, maybe we'll just have to go down here. And see whatever that is that's shining right there. Okay, so it's lit up. Okay. Mm. Whoa. Uh. Okay. Uh. I don't. Okay. I guess we're just gonna we're just gonna do this. We're gonna see what happens if we keep going and whatever that was just ran past it didn't attack us or anything right so maybe it's fine oh great okay now that we have a flashlight i feel not all that much better <laughs> but whatever ran past went that way okay i'm gonna get out of here and go look for the door before we start exploring around down there further i don't think we can close this but whatever's in there could probably get out either way or maybe what we did with the key was open that yeah this is locked so i guess that is what we did with the key okay all we can do is get back in there and see what's going on if we're going to get attacked, that's going to happen because I don't see anything we can do about it. So if that went that way, let's go the other way. Oh, okay. It won't let us go through, but that's weird. So it broke out of that tunnel. And what is this? It looks like this is probably bigger than the house above it. And is the house just another, like a, sort of like a fake site? Oh, what is going on? Zoom. Um, from Alfred Raphael to George Booker, 1983. George, I'm sending this to you from the Looker in the hope that it does not find me here. Put the cabin anomaly on full lockdown. Hell, if I were you, I would put the pulse sonar down. The high level security access code is 4142. I know this is coming out of nowhere and I'm not the one authorized for this, but you have to trust me. I'll try to make my way to you. All right, I'm not even going to turn around. We're just gonna get out of here. Our code is 4142, so we're going to go back to the security room. But the problem I'm having right now is that it looks like it was already on lockdown. So why would we put in the code? Is putting in the code removing the lockdown status? And is that something we should be doing? I'm going to go with no. 
but I also want to know what's going on here. So let's do it. Oh wait, do we have to get the disc again? The disc was in here, I think. Okay, put the disc in here. And the code is 4142. Oh no, why would we do that? Oh no. Uh, I think I made a mistake. And I thought I heard something just now. Oh man. Okay, well, we still can't get out of here. I don't know what I just did. But I guess we'll find out how big of a mistake it was, right? So if we're no longer on lockdown, where should we go? The school? The looker? The cabin anomaly investor thing? And the cabin itself. Alright, let's try the school again. Maybe something's changed? No? Okay, let's get out of here. Let's try the anomaly itself. Okay, this is very different. What happened? Oh, this is... Maybe this is the Scepter Foundation headquarters? This looks like the entrance where you would... Yeah. Go through the metal detector. Oh, wow. What does this say? Bring your kid to work day. Oh, no. Um... So I wonder if the kids from the school found out about this because one of their parents is a Scepter employee, or probably was a Scepter employee. Hmm. Hmm. I swear I keep feeling like I heard something. All right, um... I guess... Uh, I don't know what to do. Oh, there's a key. Is it to this? Alright, let's go up the stairs. Okay. Can we close this behind us? No. Not that it would probably matter much. Hmm. Okay, so this is about the cabin location. I don't know what this means. Oh, uh, the combinations. I don't know. Well, yeah, I don't know. All this math stuff is over my head. Doesn't seem we can interact with any of that stuff. Hmm. Most of the financiers are simply not interested in the unmarked location. And if I'm being completely honest, I'm, it might not even exist. Our best option right now is to try moving one of the cabins. It could prove to be a revolutionary way of transport. I'll assemble a team for Tuesday, Alfred. Moving one of the cabins? Do they mean mm, move one of the cabins to see if they can... Uh, go across further distances? Huh. Okay, well, I guess that's a clue to something. Even if we... Well, at least I don't know what right now. Hmm. Alright, I think maybe we should go see if anything else is different in another video. Okay, so that was the anomaly. I don't see anything else in here. 
Oh, what's this? The cabin anomaly redacted. Oh. So different security codes for different um, anomalies. Interesting, interesting. Okay, but we're not able to type anything. So I'm wondering if those codes, those anomalies, have anything to do with the puzzle here, or the game is just letting us know that there are other anomalies in this world that Spectre or Scepter has been monitoring. Also, we're supposed to remember how we got here. So I guess we're an employee. Maybe, maybe we did something. We can't see ourselves. Maybe we did something. All right, back to this one. I keep accidentally looking at it instead of putting it in there. All right. Oh, we're in a different place? No, we're in the same place. No, we're, okay. So it, instead of putting us out there, it put us in here. Okay. Um. Hmm. And what is up with this? Are we just in a remote area? Or some kind of, I don't know, other plane or something? Hmm. Well, that, that house was in a remote area, so maybe that's just why everything's so dark outside. Alright, um, if we're supposed to do, to understand something to do with this math, wait a minute. One through six. Or one through five leading to six. Nah. Mm, yeah, I don't get it. I still don't see any way to open this. All right, I'm gonna go see if there's anything I missed around the computer. I wonder what would happen if we just stayed here, like Wait a minute. Oh, I missed that before. Okay, maybe we can try to crawl through there. No. Hmm. So, oh, the person who wrote us this. So Alfred was taken by a looker into there. Did that happen right away? When we saw the looker run past us? Or did this happen a long time ago? Was there anything we could have done to save them? And also, what is up with the looker? Like, what is it? Where did it come from? Is it from wherever these cabins and that substance that they mentioned before came from the material or whatever is it extraterrestrial is it trapped here oh that is a helicopter hey hey can they see us are they landing no. But looking at these trees and the rocks and how flat it is, I think this is the same, or this is somewhere near where that house is. Maybe, what's that tall thing over there? Is that fire or could it be that, whoa, that tower? That's just the wind or did I hear something? I mean, it's not like there's leaves all over the place, so 
Maybe I was hearing something walking. Uh, okay. I wonder if there's a way we could communicate with that... that helicopter. And I w wonder what happened to this person. Was it the looker again? Oh, is that a weapon? I think it is, but we can't interact with it. Okay, not seeing anything to interact with in here. Still. Can't mess with any of this stuff. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. No way. No way. Okay. Wow. Okay, so how do we get down there? Oh, wait a minute. Would... Would this be the unknown location? I don't think so. I think it would be down there where those posts are. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, now I feel silly for missing that the first time. I don't think we can mess with anything else here. Maybe we can go outside now. Oh, this opened up. Okay, that was scary. <laughs> All right. Um, This is so creepy. What does this say? Please be aware of the following guidelines when working with the cabin anomaly. Do not enter, do not under any circumstances leave objects inside of the cabins. This can cause fatal injuries upon teleportation. Close the cabin doors upon exiting them. This is to maintain the interior of the cabins. Failure to do so may damage the integrity of the anomaly. Employees must, employees must conduct teleportation research one at a time. See guideline number one. Failure to follow these guidelines will result in contract termination. I wonder if these cabins are actually part of the anomaly or they've just built them on this site because they figured out about this teleportation thing. Hey, there's something back there, but we can't walk over there. Won't let us go that far. You know what? I'm, I really am wondering if that couldn't be the sixth location. Well, you know what? It doesn't, I don't think it makes sense that it would be because it's Scepter branded. So, okay, hmm. All right, so there's cabin one, and this would be cabin five. All the doors are closed, so they can all be teleported to. Okay, so if you want to teleport, you need to close the door behind you, and you can't teleport to one of the to any cabin that has its door open so maybe if we open all of the cabins and then we try to pick one and see if it takes us to six because maybe the kids figured that out but the researchers didn't i think that's what we're gonna try Okay, let's, okay, so they're all open. Let's try this. Oh, what is this? It's like some kind of weird extraterrestrial substance. Oh man, um, okay, what are we supposed to do here? Can we fall? 
I'm not ready to try it yet, but we are going to see if we can. Oh man, I don't see anything. Well, we could always get out of the video, right? So I guess we're gonna jump and see what happens. No, it won't let us. Okay. Oh, what's this? Oh, so creepy. What are these lights? Um... Oh no. What have we done? We've made a mistake. I re I'm really curious to know who we are too. Like, are we one of the kids? And what happened to the kids? Did they get sent to this other plane or...? Okay, it just made me stop moving. I can't move at all. What is that? Oh! Okay, so... Basically, watch out for bear traps. Um, okay, I can look around again. What? It looks like there's blood on the building, right? Okay, we can move again. And this is the old cabin anomaly site. Oh man, what have we done? Or I guess I'm the one who made the choices here. Ah uh, man, yeah, that's definitely blood all over the building. And all over the inside. Oh man, I don't know what to do or where to go. I can't see. What the? What is this? This is where we were watching the videos. So we were inside this room, inside the building, watching these videos. Is that, is that us? Yeah, those are the, those are the tapes. Oh no, what happened? Okay, I guess we're gonna keep looking around. Oh, we're on a... We're on rails, we can't do anything else. Maybe we just need to get out of this video. I think that's a good idea. Oh wait, if we go... If we get out of this video, will we be that dead person? I don't know what else, what other option we have though. Oh wow, I can't eject the video. Okay, we're trapped. I don't know what to do. Uh, okay. Maybe there's something else outside that I missed. Wow, this is really fascinating. I have, like I said, I've never played a game like this. It's definitely very interesting. Maybe I'm missing out because there are more games like this, but to me, it seems very, very creative and uh, mysterious and intriguing. Yeah, I don't know what else to do. I can't do anything. I can't approach the elevator. I can't seem to touch anything in here. I definitely can't eject the tape. Wow. I wonder if stopping the game is part of the game. <gasps> okay, I don't know what happened. The contents of these tapes are very familiar. They remind you of a place similar to this one. But how do you expect to return? You watch them over and over again. The friction between the VCR head and the tape wears out the plastic. They go brittle and eventually break. All that's left are distant memories. Okay, wow, I guess that's that. 
Right, well, I want to see if starting the game of over again will tell us anything, show us anything new, or we're just actually starting the game again. You wake up hanging from a ceiling. A box of VHS tape sits in front of you. You pick up a tape, it softly quivers in your hand. All right, so I totally forgot about the hanging from a ceiling part when we started before. All right, so I don't know if I missed any secrets or anything or if there was any way to avoid uh, getting caught in that loop, but this has been Unsorted VHS. If you'd like to experience the game for yourself and try to find out if there's a way to exit the loop, there's a link in the video description. Either way, thank you so much for joining me and I hope to see you again next time.